The strike by WestJet pilots could have a major impact on the airline's operations and customers, especially during the busy Victoria Day holiday weekend. The pilots have issued a 72-hour strike notice to the company and the government, which means they could legally walk off the job as early as 3A. ET on May 19. If that happens, WestJet could face a complete shutdown of its flights across Canada and internationally. This would affect thousands of passengers who have booked their travel plans with WestJet, either directly or through partner airlines. According to WestJet's website, the airline operates more than 700 flights per day to over 100 destinations in 23 countries. The strike could also disrupt cargo services, charter flights and code share agreements with other carriers. WestJet has not yet announced any contingency plans for dealing with a potential strike, but it has advised customers to check their flight status before heading to the airport. The airline has also said it will offer flexible rebooking options for customers who are affected by any flight cancellations or delays caused by the strike. Customers who have purchased travel insurance may be able to claim compensation for any losses or expenses incurred due to the strike depending on their policy terms and conditions. However, some insurance providers may not cover strikes that are announced in advance, so customers should contact their insurance company to confirm their coverage. The strike could also have a significant financial impact on WestJet, which is already struggling with the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and travel restrictions. The airline reported a net loss of $164 million in the first quarter of 2023, compared to a net profit of $48 million in the same period last year. The strike could further erode WestJet's revenues and market share, as well as damage its reputation and customer loyalty. The pilots are demanding better pay, working conditions and career progression, as well as a fair contract that is competitive within Canada's airline industry. They have been negotiating with WestJet since September 2020, but have not been able to reach an agreement. The pilots say they are ready to strike if provoked, but they also remain open to resume talks with the company at any time. The possible solutions or alternatives for the strike, such as federal arbitration, negotiation or other travel options as you may have heard, the pilots of WestJet Airlines have issued a 72-hour strike notice that could result in a disruption of flights as early as May 19. This is after months of failed negotiations between the pilots' union, ALPA, and the airline management over issues such as job security, working conditions and wages. The pilots are seeking a contract that reflects their value to the airline and is competitive with their U. Counterparts So what are the possible solutions or alternatives for this strike? One option is federal arbitration, which is a process where a neutral third party decides the outcome of the dispute based on evidence and arguments from both sides. This option would require both parties to agree to abide by the arbitrator's decision, which may not satisfy their side completely. Another option is negotiation, which is a process where both parties try to reach a mutually acceptable agreement through dialogue and compromise. This option would require both parties to be willing to make concessions and find common ground, which may not be easy given the current impasse. A third option is other travel options, which is a process where passengers affected by the strike look for alternative ways to reach their destinations, such as booking with other airlines, taking trains or buses, or canceling their trips altogether. This option would require passengers to be flexible and adaptable, which may not be feasible or desirable for everyone. As you can see, there is no easy or simple solution for this strike. It is a complex and challenging situation that affects thousands of people across Canada and beyond. We hope that both parties can find a way to resolve their differences and avoid a costly and disruptive strike that would harm the airline industry and the traveling public.